what kind of uh, signals maybe do you would you recommend to to an, a novice or a young researcher? Uh, what should they be looking at? Read the classics. Uh, you you cannot uh, ignore classics. And I make a distinction. And people tend to think, you know, when when we say classics, oh, those are the old studies. That's what people tend to think. That's not true. Uh, the way that I think about them is that uh, let's make a distinction between studies from the distant past uh, versus classics. Okay. Uh, the distinct the distinction is important. Both. Uh, serve different purposes and they have different roles, but classics are milestones. They usually represent an inflection point in uh, the development of an area, in the development of a literature, and their impact persists over time and they become foundational to an entire set of additional studies. So it's not, they don't just sort of sit and, you know, the study got done, got cited a few times. No, no, no. They become foundational for an entire stream of research. 